Welcome to the fucking metaverse. That was the thing that attracted us to Web3, right? I mean, because yeah. we weren't, we're, we're like you guys. We were just, you know, weirdo creatives. <laughs> Not yeah. to say that you're weird, but like, you know, you we're, just, we're just yeah. creatives. <laughs> and um, the... You know, we we got into the space as traders and investors casually in crypto, but but not super seriously. And um, it was really like thinking about how fun Web One was. And we grew yeah. up in Web One, and as you guys did, and we you know grew up playing early MMORPGs and things like that, where like the internet was just wild and weird. Yeah. And like, oh, it was just like I was creating websites on GeoCities and I was hanging out in IRC mm -hmm. chat, and I was like, yeah. you know, like weird. It's just like a strange place, and it felt. Um, I don't know. And then Web2 came around and just kind of just destroyed it. It was just like the internet was like, mm -hmm. it was like really, it's like Facebook that kind of destroyed everything, right? Because like MySpace was still kind of Web1 in my opinion. Yeah. You know, it, it was, was like, oh, yeah, you, it could was like, wacky. you could like yeah. use HTML yeah. and create your own thing. And it was just like weird. And, like, oh, band, like, yeah. and I would like change my song to like impress whatever girl I was trying to pick up at like that week or whatever. Mm -hmm. you know? Or it yeah. was like, uh, I don't know. And then Facebook just like formalized it in such yeah. a way and it became so big and so addictive. And then social media just like became all about the algorithm. And it was just like Web3 comes around and it's like the possibility. And you guys are like, honestly, at the, the very forefront of that, I thought. It's like you guys or pioneered the idea that like, no, this can be decentralized and weird and fun. And it opened the door for everything else. It certainly opened the door for us. Great. Yeah. And uh, you're absolutely right. Like when it's gone, it's gone kind of forever, right? Like, like we were also, of course, early on web and doing stuff. And then it, yeah, it became very corporate, very big, big money and everything. And, you know, gatekeepers. And then we jumped on mobile and it, once again, yeah, writing things like that app chat we were talking about, like we made crazy apps and there was a bunch of indie people just making weird apps. But then now that's so, I mean, way more clamped down than even Web 2 is. Web 3, you know, when we came to it, just looking for a solution to this collectible problem, we were just like, oh, wait. And then when we had that response, like, we're back to something where just a couple guys can can do something. You know, we can actually like, we can, you know, people can notice and care, you know, and it's like, that's precious, you know, because once you lose that, it's gone, you know, and uh, so that, yeah, and it still feels like that in, in Web3. It still feels like it's that frontier where individuals can make cool stuff. People can take notice of it. There's not many other places in the tech world right now where that, that exists. 